Hey what is up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this fire effect in After Effects and it's actually pretty easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is open a new project in After Effects and then drag in your footage for the background where the fire is going to overlay. So just drag that on and select where you want the fire to be. So I got where I want the fire to start so what I'm going to do is go to animation and track camera. Okay so once the camera's tracked you can see all these tracking points on the scene as you have here and you want to set a good spot where you want the fire to be so kind of flat on the ground. I'm just going to go back up and so you can see this is a good place about here. This is right where I want the fire to be so I'm going to right click and create solid and camera. I have this big solid here. Don't need that though so just get rid of that. And now I need to bring in my fire. And for this I'm using Video Copilot's Action Essentials and one of their fire effects. So this fire is good because it starts up and kind of explodes from where it is. And so what I'm going to do is just drag this onto my timeline. And now I need to align this up with when I want the fire to actually start so it kind of explodes out of it the right timing. Alright so that looks pretty good right now and so what I need to do now is put it onto 3D so I just do that by clicking this right here. And now it's tracked to the scene more or less but it's not a great track because of its position right now so if I click P I can adjust all three coordinates of direction. So I'm going to move the z-axis way back until I have something that looks like it's actually tracked to the scene and stuck on where I want it to be. Alright now I can move the X and Y axes to position it over the area that I want. So that looks about good and then rotation I can just rotate it until it is positioned again how I want it. Just like that. And also as you can see here where the lighter is trying to light the fuel the fire starts to the wrong side so I can just position again and move it to the left a little bit there. And so now it looks like the fire is coming out of where I lit it from and it looks pretty good tracked in the scene. So the fire right now looks pretty good however it is really orange and unrealistic so the thing you want to do is turn it on to the blend mode of screen. This is going to give it a lighter color but also looks way more realistic as fire should look in real life especially with the flat profile of the camera I'm shooting on so you can color grade more color in post. So now what I'm going to do is duplicate the fire clip here. So just press command D. And now what I'm trying to do is create some fire reflection around the bottom so I'm just going to move this clip out and shrink the scale. Just try and flatten the image a little bit here. So it looks bad now but you'll see what I'm doing. So just expand it out here. Move the duplicated clip under the original and move the fire so it's sitting about under where the other one is and now go into the effects and search for blur you can just use a fast blur or whatever put it on the light layer and raise up the blurriness until it's just kind of a haze then click T and lower the opacity and on the effects search for curves add that on there and uh, lighten the shot a little bit. There's a little bit of a lit section under here that's directly correlated to the fire up here just to give it that better, more realistic look. There are a lot more things you can do like adding multiple layers and thickness and different fire assets and also some heat coming off of it or maybe some reflection in the liquid at the bottom. But all that takes a lot of time. This is just a super simple tutorial on how to get fire that looks pretty good tracked into your scene in just a few minutes. So anyway, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.